Hi everyone, my name is Lauren and I'm a program facilitator with Jasper Place Family Resource Center. I'm here to share an early learning program with you today in partnership with the Kids Up Front Foundation. Today, we are going to be reading a book called House, Mouse Paint by Ellen Stoll Walsh. So all of our activities um, and songs today are mostly gonna have to do with colors and color mixing. And one of my favorite things, rainbows. So I thought that to get started, we could do some color patterns. Do you know what a pattern is? A pattern, in this case, is a series of pictures or of colors that repeats. Okay, so the same thing keeps happening over and over. And so for this activity, there's gonna be one spot where there isn't a color. And it's our job to figure out what should go there in this pattern. All right, so let's try this first one. Red, red, blue, blue, red, red, blue. Hmm, what should come next? All right, let's see if we figured it out. Red, red, blue, blue, red, red, blue, blue. Is that what you guessed? Well done. All right, here's our next one. Red, red, yellow, yellow, red, yellow, yellow. Ooh, what could go there? Have a think. Hmm. Are you looking at the pattern? Maybe you can repeat it to yourself. All right, let's see. Red, red, yellow, yellow. Red, red, yellow, yellow. Is that what you got? Did you guess red? All right, here's our next one. Green, yellow, purple. Green, yellow, purple. Green, what comes next? Take a look. Say the colors to yourself. See if you can figure out the pattern. Okay, here comes the answer. Green, yellow, purple. Green, yellow, purple. Green, yellow. All right, my friends, this is going to be the last one. Red, purple, yellow. Red, oh, yellow, red, purple. Ooh, it's tricky when it's in the middle, isn't it? Hmm. So look at the pattern one more time. I find that saying it to myself can sometimes help me figure it out. Okay, let's take a look. Red, purple, yellow. Red, purple, yellow. Red, purple. Did you guess purple? That was tricky, wasn't it? You should feel proud of yourselves for working so hard trying to figure that out. Patterns can be quite tough. All right, now we are going to read this story together. So some of you may have kits that go along with these programs. And so you can get out your copy of Mouse Paint and read along with me. And if you don't have a copy of that book, well, you can read and watch along with me here on the screen. All right, so I just ask for your patience for one moment while I share my screen and start the slideshow. Here we go, Mouse Paint by Ellen Stoll Walsh. Once there were three white mice on a white piece of paper. The cat couldn't find them. One day while the cat was asleep, the mice saw three jars of paint, one red, one yellow, and one blue. They thought it was mouse paint. They climbed right in. Then one was red, one was yellow, and one was blue. They dripped puddles of paint onto the paper. 
the puddles looked like fun. The red mouse stepped into a yellow puddle and did a little dance. His red feet stirred the yellow puddle until, look, he cried, red feet in a yellow puddle make orange. The yellow mouse hopped into a blue puddle. His feet mixed and stirred and stirred and mixed until, look down, said the red mouse and the blue mouse. Yellow feet in a blue puddle make green. Then the blue mouse jumped into a red puddle. He splashed and mixed and danced until purple, they all shouted. Blue feet in a red puddle make purple. But the paint on their fur got sticky and stiff. So they washed themselves down to a nice soft white and painted the paper instead. They painted one part red and one part yellow and one part blue. They mixed red and yellow to paint an orange part, yellow and blue to paint a green part and blue and red to paint a purple part. But they left some white because of the cat. The end. Did you like that story? I like seeing all the different colors that they come up with. It's a fun experiment to do, isn't it? Mixing colors together. We're gonna do something a little bit like that in just a few moments, but first we're gonna sing some songs. All right, so the first song is about a rainbow. It's called, I Can Sing a Rainbow. And it goes like this. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. Listen with your eyes, listen with your eyes, sing everything you see. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, Sing a rainbow with me. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. That's a pretty song, isn't it? It's nice to sing all the different colors. All right, this next song is called The Color Song. And it goes like this. Oh, I'm just going to back up a little bit so I've got some room to move. Here we go. Red, red, touch your head. Blue, blue, tie your shoe. Brown, brown, touch the ground. Ugh. White, white, take a bite. Black, black, touch your back. Do that. Purple, purple, draw a circle. Can you draw a circle with your finger? Pink, pink, take a wink. That's when you close only one eye. Can you do that? Or you could also take a blink. Gray, gray, shout hooray. Let's try that one again. Red, red, touch your head. Blue, blue. Tie your shoe. Brown, brown, touch the ground. Oh, stretch. White, white, take a bite. Black, black, touch your back. Purple, purple, draw a circle. Pink, pink, take a wink or a blink. Gray, gray, shout hooray. Okay, this next song is called One Little Red Fish. One little red fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little red fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. 
Two little blue fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Two little blue fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 bubble. How about three green fish? Three little green fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Three little green fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 bubble. All right, last one. Four little yellow fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Four little yellow fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 bubble. You could keep going and going, couldn't you? I wonder if you could go all the way to 10 and have 10 different colors of fish. That's a challenge for you. All right, now we're gonna do a few songs that aren't about colors. This first one is called Laugh a Little, and I'm gonna stand up to do this one. It goes like this. Laugh a little, laugh a little, ha 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 ha. Sing a little, sing a little, la 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 la. Clap a little, clap a little, clap, clap. Dance a little, dance a little, tap, tap, tap. Spin a little, spin a little, round and round. Rest a little, rest a little, we all fall down. Let's do that one more time, it's a fun one. Laugh a little, laugh a little, ha ah, ah, ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha ha. Sing a little, sing a little, la 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 la. Clap a little, clap a little. Dance a little, dance a little, tap, tap, tap. Spin a little, spin a little, round and round. Rest a little, rest a little, we all fall down. Oh, that was a good one, hey? Feels good to move our bodies. Now this next one is called Tony Chestnut. And a funny thing about this song is that when you say nut, we're gonna to point to our heads. Our head is gonna be the nut in this song. And we're gonna start out slow and then go faster and faster. So I'm gonna stand up again for this song and you can stand up at home. And it goes like this. Tony Chestnut knows I love you. Tony knows. Tony knows, Tony Chestnut knows I love you. That's what Tony knows. Oh, was that tough? Can you point to your toes? And now to your knees, to your chest, to your nut, to your nose, to your eyes. Oh, can we do it faster this time? Here we go. Tony Chestnut knows I love you. Tony knows, Tony knows. Tony Chestnut knows I love you. That's what Tony knows. All right, friends, we're going to do it really, really fast this time. Think you can do it? Let's take a deep breath. Here we go. Tony Chestnut knows I love you. Tony knows. Tony knows. Tony Chestnut knows I love you. That's why Tony knows. Whoa, that was so tricky. It was so tricky for me. Was it tricky for you? I wonder if you could do it even faster than that one. Oh, that would be amazing. All right, Whew. I to catch my breath after doing that. Okay, our next song is called One Little Finger. And it goes like this. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, tap, tap. Point your fingers up, point your fingers down. Put them on your head. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, tap, tap. Point your fingers up, 
point your fingers down. Put them on your chin. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, tap, tap. Point your fingers up, point your fingers down. Put them on your shoulders. Last one. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, tap, tap. Point your fingers up, point your fingers down. Put them on your belly button. Okay, and our last song is a bit of an I Spy song. Have any of you played I Spy before? So that's when someone says, I spy with my little eye something with a color, I don't know, blue or green or orange or yellow. And then you have to look around the room and try to guess what it is. So this is a similar kind of song where I'm gonna say a color and you need to look around the space where you are to see if you can find something with that color. All right, here we go. Blue, I see something blue, blue. I see something blue. Blue, 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 I see something blue. Do you see something blue? Hmm, I see a blue flower behind me. And I have blue earrings on today. Do you see something blue around you? Or even if you don't see it, do you know that there's something blue in your house or maybe outside? What is it? All right, are you ready for our next color? Red, I see something red, red. I see something red, 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 red. I see something red. Do you see something red? Hmm, I see a cup. You can't see it, but I can. And I also see some red wheels on the train behind me. What do you see that's red? All right, next one. Green, I see something green, green. I see something green, 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 green. I see something green. Do you see something green in the space around you? Hmm. I see a green plant behind me. That's a very nice green, isn't it? Mm, there's a green tissue box over there. All right, my friends. And our last one is going to be white. I see something white, white. I see something white, 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 white. I see something white. Do you see something white in your space? Hmm. There's some white paper around me. Maybe there's white walls where you are, or white carpet. Or if you look out the window, are there white clouds in the sky? Something else that's white around me is this. This is white paper towel. And we are gonna use it in our next activity. We are going to grow a rainbow. That's right. So how you do this is, First, you need paper towel, and we're going to need to cut it down, probably. So that means you'll need some scissors. Now, when you're using scissors, always make sure that there is a grown up around to watch you and to help make sure that you're being safe with your scissors. You're also going to need some washable markers. And since we're drawing a rainbow, or we're growing a rainbow, you're gonna need quite a few colors, I would say, depending on how you would like your rainbow to look. You're going to need two glasses, any kind of glasses will work, and some water to go in the glasses. So this is what we do. So first thing is you're gonna cut out your piece of paper towel. Now this is a little bit of an experiment. So that means that you can try to do it lots of different ways to see what works. So you can see if maybe a 
bigger piece of paper towel works, a longer piece of paper towel, whatever you would like. So once you or your grown up has cut out a piece of paper towel to the size that you would like, you are then going to color on it, but there's a special way to color on it. So I'm gonna show you. Angle down a little bit. Here, I'm gonna get my colors over here. And so I'm gonna start with some red first. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna color on one end. Now, you're gonna need some space to do lots of different colors. So don't make it too big if you don't want to, if you want lots of colors. And then you're gonna color on the other end. You might want to put down a messy mat or some paper towels to protect the space that you're in. You don't color on your table. All right, so see how you're leaving that space in the middle. All right, next up, I'm gonna go for some orange on one end and then the other. You don't need to do the same colors as me or the same order. You can do whatever color or order you want. Some green. I'm trying to kind of make them all the same height, the same size, my rectangles of color. But again, try it different ways. See what happens. That is the fun thing about experiments is you can try lots of different ways to see what happens. All right, I do my last two colors, some purple here. Oh, and you know what? It's not even on both sides. That doesn't matter. That's okay. Nothing has to be perfect. Right, nothing has to be perfect. All right, and there's a little bit of space for some violet. That's what this color is, violet. All right, so you can see, I'll lift the camera up now, hello again. So you can see how I've got color on this side and on this side and nothing in the middle. Hmm, that's not really much of a rainbow. Now is it? No. So you're gonna see how we are going to grow a rainbow. So now you need your two cups and we're going to fill one cup up with water, fill it fairly high and the other cup again experiment. You know you can try it this way and then you can try it with less water with more water. So I'm going to angle down again. So here's our two cups of water. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the paper color paper towel that you have colored on. And you're gonna put your two cups close together and one end of the paper towel is gonna to go in and the other end is gonna go in. And watch what happens. <gasps> Can you see that? Can you see how all of this, the, the rainbow, it's starting to grow, grow, grow from each side. Can you see it over on this side too? Do you see how the color is, it was down there and now it's grow, 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 grow. And see how you can, if you can get close, I don't know how close you can see it on the computer, but if you're at home doing this, you can actually watch it move up the paper towel. Now it might take a little bit of time for the two sides to reach each other. Although this one's actually moving pretty good. But I'm gonna show you, this is one that I did a little bit earlier. And you can see how the color has actually ran from this side of the paper and it's now in the middle. Do you see how there's all those colors together? So it actually grew a rainbow. Isn't that neat? Let's see how this one's doing. Oh yeah, and see that the water has changed color. And look how there's barely any white there. There's barely any white, it's growing and growing. And I bet you, oh, look at the violet and purple are touching. Hmm. Now I wonder what would happen 
if like the mice in mouse paint, if instead of doing red and red on equal sides, if you did red and then yellow and then grew them together, do you think it would be orange in the middle? That would be a really neat thing to try, wouldn't it? All right, my friends. Now to finish up today, we're gonna do another color song. And this one is all about the colors that you're wearing in your clothes. So take a look at your clothes, your shirt, your shorts, pants, your socks and shoes. Maybe you have a headband on or a hat or earrings or a necklace. What colors are they? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say some different song colors in this song. And then if you're wearing that color, when I say jump up and say hooray, I hope that you jump up really big and say hooray. All right, here we go. If you are wearing orange today, orange today, orange today. If you are wearing orange today, jump up and shout hooray, hooray. I'm not wearing orange, but I'm gonna do it with you because it's fun. All right, how about if you are wearing blue today, blue today, blue today. If you are wearing blue today, jump up and shout hooray, hooray. If you are wearing pink today, pink today, pink today. If you are wearing pink today, jump up and shout hooray, hooray. If you are wearing yellow today, yellow today, yellow today. If you are wearing yellow today, jump up and shout hooray, hooray. If you are wearing black today, black today, black today. If you are wearing black today, jump up and shout hooray, hooray. And our last one, if you are wearing colors today, colors today, colors today. You are wearing colors today. Jump up and shout hooray, hooray. Oh, thank you so much for joining me for this early learning program. My name is Lauren and I am a program facilitator with Jasper Place Family Resource Center. And I am here in partnership with the Kids Upfront Foundation. And I am so pleased that you were able to join me today for our mouse paint uh, color program. It was so great to spend this time with you and I really hope that you've enjoyed yourselves. We are going to sing a little goodbye song to finish off. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. Choo, choo. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. Choo, choo. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. Choo, choo. Bye, friends. Thank you. Bye. Four, three, two, one, bye.